Thank you so much for joining me. The first question is, what is your name? My name is Jess Brown. What high school did you go to and where are you at now? So I went to high school at Riverside Girls High School um, in 2017. And then, so that was in Gladesville. And then I moved up to Queensland, um, to Brisbane, to study at UQ. Um, I completed a Bachelor of Biomedical Science last year. Um, and I'm currently studying nursing at QUT. I'm giving you permission to be a little bit of a show up here. <laughs> what subject did you state rank in? So I state, state ranked biology um, in 2017. Any particular mindset going into your last year of high school and whether you had any fears or expectations of yourself? So for me, I love studying and I love learning. So for me, it's never been about like trying to achieve very high or it was never about getting a very like high ATAR or I never even thought about state ranking. I think my friend texted me that I had state <laughs> ranked. Like I didn't find out myself. Like I <laughs> didn't even know. Well, I did know that was a thing, but yeah, I didn't really think about that at all. For me, it was always just about doing my best and, um, and however well that would lead me. So that was really helpful just to take the stress off. I was like, I know what my best is. I know if I've studied. And for me, I would come into every exam or every assignment being like, I've done my best. I've studied as hard as I can for this assignment or this exam. Um, doesn't matter what happens now. Like, mm -hmm. I'm just going to go into it. And that really took the pressure off. That really helped. Not having all this stress and, like, expectation on myself. Um, and I had done pretty well in year 11 as well. And so that mm. kind of helped me feel like I was going to be okay in year 12. Obviously, it was very stressful and a lot of highs and lows, but just really trying to take that stress off myself and just go in with the mindset, I'm just going to try my best and see where that gets me. Did you have any distinct highs or lows from the final year of high school? Uh, I think my biggest high was like during mock-up week. And it was just really nice, the whole like year 12, like our whole co cohort came together and just kind of celebrated, like we got through this and um, yeah, as a team. And it was really nice once all of like the internals had finished, everyone just shared their notes because like we knew we were trying to like boost everyone's external marks. So mm. like that competition side really just died away and it was just really like, building each other up and working towards a similar goal, which was really nice, just consolidating those really nice friendships as well. Mm -hmm. um, I had a couple of lows in year 12. It definitely wasn't easy. Um, my biggest kind of like, I don't know, a bit of a breakdown moment was um, during English because English was never my best subject. I was much more maths and biology science focused. So I was trying to write an essay for Hamlet and I just could not sit down and write it. I just had this big mental block and that was definitely probably the hardest. But also just at the very start of year 12 when you were just kind of um, doing these first exams that finally counted towards something, I got glandular fever and I was so sick. I just remember trying to study while being like so unwell, like bed bound almost. It was very hard, but yeah, it kind of, got me through almost the rest of the year because I was like if I could study during that time like I'm gonna be okay when I'm actually healthy <laughs> um, mm. a little bit of a fun question did you have any pre-exam rituals or superstitions during year 12 yeah I don't I didn't really have any like big ones I guess my weirdest thing was like before the exam I would just read through all the notes and like cram but then when I was <laughs> at the exam and like at the table I'd like um I'd set up my table so if there was multiple sheets I'd like set them up nicely and like how I wanted them and I'd take all the pens like the um caps off my pens and like set that up really nicely and just have everything like maybe it was a bit OCD but <laughs> I would like yeah always have everything really nicely set out I wasn't someone who just like put their pencils down somewhere and uh -huh. I was ready, like I would fiddle around with my table <laughs> like uh -huh. quite a bit before while they were like reading all that stuff that you hear a thousand times or like six times or however many exams that you're doing. You just kind of zone that out and I just like 
set everything up on my table and I would always bring white out and never use it but I was like I have to have it like it has to be in this like spot next to everything else. Are there any personal or academic tips that you'd like to share? Some of my main tips for biology is go through that syllabus every dot point because a lot of the questions about biology are like describe what Charles Darwin's natural selection is or something and like if you don't know who Charles Darwin was and if you don't know what natural selection is you're never going to be able to answer that question and that might just be one dot point in the syllabus um so really like go through that syllabus I I would write out my notes so I would write um just briefly what syllabus dot point it was or the main kind of points and then I would write like a nice little like example I do a district description definition have my example of what I could use for say natural selection um, and then move on to the next dot point um, if it's identify really look at that first letter like that first word sorry um, in the question so if it's describe if it's explain have like a cause and effect if it's identify it really only needs like one sentence if not just a word um, but yeah, really look at that first word and look at the marks and say if it's three questions, spend about three minutes, maybe four on that question and move on. If someone only has a few weeks or days left to study for an exam, how might they make the best use of their time? Uh, I think at that stage, what would help most is doing past papers and really learning about how to answer the question right because if like you know how to answer a describing question like that's going to really help you so I think having an open book mini exam for yourself and just doesn't matter how long you take for now um, but just getting used to kind of writing out answers open book and then leading up maybe try a closed book past exam but really start working on the questions and it's not easy to motivate yourself, especially if you don't have that support network around. So, you know, if you've got a couple of close friends, try Zoom together to do a couple of study sessions that way. There are a lot, especially for biology, a lot of videos online. Um, Crash, Crash Course Biology has heaps of videos. Like in Khan Academy, I would go on that all the time if there was a dot point. My teacher did explain, but I didn't really understand. Just trying to find out what works best for you. I was someone who studied best by myself in my room and like I got down a lot, like just, yeah, I was good like that. But if you're someone who needs like that bit more support and um, yeah, try Zoom with your friends, try to keep connected. It's not easy, but yeah. And take breaks as well, go on walks and I don't know, do yoga, do something that works well for you, take a break from it, have a nice cup of tea with your family or, yeah. Find out when you study best. So for me, I would always study best in the morning and by the time it got to night time, I just was like, I need to sleep. I know what I'm going to learn now isn't going to go in. Whereas I had friends staying up until like two o'clock in the morning and I'm like, <laughs> how, like you need to sleep. Like figure out when works for you and make sure you sleep at the other times because sleep is very important. Could you share a quick word or is there something you'd like to say to those going into their final exams this year? My sister was um, going through the HSE last year and she didn't have as many lockdowns, but yeah, it's so hard to get motivated to study when you don't have your peers like right next to you, you don't have your teacher in front of you and you're just yeah there with your computer. Um, but try organize like, I don't know, weekly catch-ups or maybe even twice weekly, just Zoom sessions with your friends, um, catch up, see how everybody's doing. Um, Cause yeah, what motivated me during year 12 was talking to my peers and being like, okay, they're much more ahead in this assignment. I better start studying. <laughs> like, that's what would motivate me. Um, so I think it's really important to try and keep connected and yeah, do Zoom calls, do FaceTimes, um, but don't lose those connections and reach out to your friends as well. You know, if you're feeling down 
or not very motivated, chances are like your friend's going to feel the same. Mm. It's not easy, but it's also like not forever. Mm -hmm. So you're almost there with the, with HSC, like you're getting to the finals, you're almost there, just keep pushing through and then you'll be done. Then you can have a nice break. A final reflective question. So thinking back to where you were at the end of high school, is there anything that has surprised you about yourself and where you'd be? And what would be one piece of advice you'd give to your year 12 self? Yeah, so I think for me, I was very much like academic minded in high school. Like I did a lot of study um, and worked really hard, but there's a lot more to that. Like your soft skills are so important when you're looking for a job. And that's what I really built at uni. So moving out of home for me was just such a big thing. I'm surprised at how much like I grew as a person, like, because I came up to Queensland and I didn't know anyone. I had my friendship group back at high school and I was like, oh my goodness, how do I make friends again? Um, Because yeah, I had to meet all these people. I had to put myself out there. And I think that's almost more important than the study. I would say not to worry about everything as much, like with academic wise, because there's so much more to life than just studying. So I was definitely someone who worked really hard and like studied a lot, but sometimes I wish I just stopped doing that for a little bit and gone out for some time with my friends or something or like, yeah, I wish I would yeah, gone out a little bit more and like not out as in like clubbing or anything, but just out <laughs> having like, like a bit of fun with my friends rather, rather than like worrying and studying at home. Um, so yeah, I definitely say to myself like, there's more to life than studying and yeah make sure you have fun while in year 12 it's a good year okay (laughs) very cute 